Hello everybody, this is Dr. Tanushri Pandey, an obstetrician and gynecologist, also known as your gynae guru on Instagram. And I'm here today to talk about something um, very important, something that we've all faced sometime or the other in our lives, or will face it, is the first time you have sex. So the little tips and things that will make uh, the first time that you have sex a little easy, a little smooth, less anxious and doable. So there are you know, a few things that you can do just say aapko help hoega, and you'll be easy and you'll be relaxed when it's the first time that you're having sex, whenever it is, you know. And um, those things are you need to firstly be very comfortable with the whole idea. You need to be ready for it. Nobody, even if it's your husband, your fiance, your boyfriend for the longest time, Nobody means nobody can force sex upon you. Sex doesn't always have to be penetrative. Any sexual act, whether it's kissing, hugging, holding hands, which be. So it's only when you're mentally actually ready and prepared for it, do you do it. When you are calm about it, you're not judging yourself for it, you're ready for it, you're looking forward to it, it's only when you'll enjoy it. So always talk to your partner, make sure you are ready for it, your partner is ready for it. Look for a secure place. I know adventure is great and you want to have uh, people have weird fantasies and you want to do it here, you want to do it there. But uh, the first time that you're doing it, you want to be secure, you want to be safe. So it should be in the comfort of your own house, your partner's house, any safe place. Always and always use protection. Okay, because the first time that you're having sex, you don't want to land up in pregnancy or a sexually transferred infection because that's just going to ruin the experience forever for you. So use protection and the safe, the best protection for first time, uh, uh, first timers is a condom. Preferably a male condom because a female condom can be a little cumbersome to use, not that easily available, higher failure rate and so on and so forth. Now because it's the first time, there's going to be a lot of anxiety related to it, both with the male partner as well as the vulva owner. So always and always talk, 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 try and remove as much of anxiety as possible. Don't be ashamed that it's your first time, it could be any age and that's perfectly fine. Always and always a lot of foreplay before the actual penetration happens, right? So cuddle in, talk, maybe watch a movie, create a romantic environment, maybe light some beautiful candles, dress up well and just make it um, enjoyable and fun. Once you're finally in the act, do not forget to use lubrication. Preferably a water-based lubricant uh, because it's going to not uh, act up with your condom and it's not going to give you an infection also. So that's why I use a water-based lubricant but do, do, do use a lube because no matter how excited you are about the first time that you're having sex, it can lead to a lot of vaginal dryness because of your anxiety and uh, you're not sure about what you like, what you don't like, so on and so forth. And then after that, if it doesn't go as per plan, don't panic. 60% of the couples, when they try to have sex for the first time, are unable to do so. So relax, just one time of not being able to have sex doesn't make you frigid, don't go into all the nitty-gritties of vaginismus and all those problems or erectile dysfunction. You're fine, it can take a couple of times. So just relax, take it easy, do a couple of deep breaths and then just enjoy the act. And no, first time sex doesn't need to pain. So if it's causing too much of pain, maybe there's something wrong, you need to wait on, withdraw, let some time pass by and then maybe retry the same day or another day. So no, whether sex is first time or the hundredth time, it's not supposed to hurt. It's only supposed to be pleasurable. And then don't go and you know just start um, pining for a climax straight away the first time that you're having sex because you take time to explore your body, understand what you like and then explain it to your partner. So have the patience. The first time sex doesn't necessarily need to an orgasm. So even if you've enjoyed the act but hasn't per se resulted in an orgasm, it's okay. Be patient, you'll get there. So I hope this video is informative and all my first time ones, you will benefit from this video. So give us a like, share, comment and go follow your tiny guru. Bye! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.